Today we will be testing the floor standing acoustics from the iconic Israeli brand Morel. Naturally, we will open it up, see what's inside, and assess the quality of the uniquely manufactured drivers. And at the end, we will raffle off a disc and listen to our heroes in 32-bit stereo. The company Morel is primarily associated with the best, I would even say, uncompromising car audio. Judge for yourself. One of the fastest, most advanced hypercars in motorsport history. The Pagani Zonda and its twin, I apologize for my English. The Huayra come equipped with custom-made acoustics. Horatio Pagani is used to his creations being the best in everything, which means that when you are racing at speeds over 300, you should also be listening to the best music. And the Israeli engineers created the perfect sound system to match the Italian rocket made of carbon fiber and titanium composites. By the way, the engines in Pagani come from Mercedes. No Audis or BMWs for you. If the best invites you to create the best sound system, it means you have achieved something in this world. Isn't that right? Merle will celebrate its 50th anniversary next year. Just imagine, the company was founded before the golden era of the audio industry in the 80s and is still operating on its own terms. And this is a very rare occurrence in our time. English from Bavers, how could you sell out to an American? Take a cue from the Israelis. You know how to conduct business wisely. Scar Audio, got it. And what about Home Hi-Fi? It's amazing how the company's founder, Mir Morel, has been modest, at least in Russia, because his brand has solidified its top position specifically in the automotive sphere. But he is not very well known in the home hi-fi field. Grief friends, this is very, very strange. After all, from the very beginning, the guys from the promised land have been making top-notch acoustics. What can I say? Their range of home speakers is quite large. And the production facilities and development department are at such a high level that even in the H&M League, there are their people, or rather, their lady, known as Fat Lady. Unique, made using the latest technologies, materials, and approaches in all areas, from design to sound. It's no wonder that people who have touched and listened to it say, it's not over until the Fat Lady sings to you. I suggest we finish with the voluptuous representatives of the fair sex. Let's have some fun with them another time. By the way, an American advertisement from the 2000s immediately comes to mind, which later became scandalous. Just so you know, this is not my idea. I'm just recounting what I saw. So, the advertisement banner, imagine, features a bloodthirsty alien that has descended to Earth with the caption, when they arrive, the first thing they do is sit, half-mast. What can I say? Exercise, friends, you never know. Well, today we have for testing a more toned, elegant, unpretentious model, and importantly, with much lower demands. Relatively budget moral Avira 633. We will spend time with them, disassembling, assembling, and figuring out what they represent. In front of you are small floor standing speakers, and they are three-way, which is extremely important to me. After all, if you have the space, be sure to choose the classic genre, floor standing speakers. After all, if each frequency band is supported by a speaker, the sound picture will generally be rendered more clearly, assertively, so to speak, according to feng shui. After all, the design turned out very well, considering the relatively modest price of 200K plus our native rubles. It is no coincidence that the name Evira comes from the Hebrew word for atmosphere. When I first saw them, I even thought they were some kind of Sonus Faber with their sky-high price. Well, just say they look cool. Although this color is clearly not my style, I like them much more in a darker version. They really resonate with me. But this light walnut, well, I don't know. Although it is considered quite a bull color, it's just not for me. The unique design is created by the side panels, which additionally increase both the rigidity of the acoustics, make it firmer, almost like the gaze of Golden Maya. Accordingly, both resonance and the cabinet are reduced. The acoustics are entirely made in the homeland of King Solomon. Naturally, by hand, quality control with our friends. You understand, is at what level? At the highest level, because there I think mistakes will be punished quite harshly. Therefore, the moral is, it's control, it's quality, it's the highest level of skill. Over half a century, Moral has accumulated a wagon and a small cart of patent technologies. On board, there is a 75 millimeter dust cap with EWC technology, as well as an aluminum voice coil with the patented Hexatech technology. 
I believe that's what it's called. So many technologies, yet at first glance, you wouldn't say so. Ordinary, they didn't even cover the bolts. Despite its relatively modest size, the base is indeed very confident, assertive, yet at the same time soft, kindly soulful. Fans of Drake and Gucci Mane may want to go deeper. For that, we add a bass machine or move up the hierarchy. For all other audio lovers, the bass will be more than enough. Well, up to 18 square meters, friends. If your room is 25, 30, of course, it won't be sufficient. Tweeters, oh, the two wires on the side. One person who came to me while I was listening to these speakers asked, is this a bug or a feature? Well, of course, it's a feature, friends. No bugs, everything is well thought out. A soft dome with a diameter of 28 millimeters or 1.1 inches, naturally, it's handmade. It also leans towards a pleasant, warm presentation. Vivaldi's Four Seasons almost takes me to the heavens when I hear them through this tweeter. In conclusion, we have a solid base, which has also been designed quite impressively by Israeli engineers. Look at this stripe, the curved lines. Cool. The port of the bass reflex is located at the back, which in my opinion is not ideal for versatile speaker placement. It's better to have it at the front or bottom. The speakers are rated for a relatively low impedance of 4 ohms, with a sensitivity of 90 dB. In my observations, even a weak vintage amplifier of 25 watts was able to drive them. But the potential was definitely revealed when I turned up the tone, connected this powerful Chinese amplifier AD99, and they sang very seriously. But friends, when I brought them home and powered them with my 600 watt monoblocks each, that's when they opened up by 100, 200, 300%, especially when the monoblocks warmed up. And indeed, this was probably their finale, just the apex. It played really fundamentally. It was hard to believe that such small floor speakers could produce such a mature sound. But again, it's the amplifier. It played its role, which was almost 10 times more expensive than the speakers themselves. So, judge for yourselves. Although, I repeat, I believe that the Tone Winner 99 is one of the ideal pairs. Everything looks delicious on the outside. Let's take this cold weapon and chop them up. Let's see what's inside. Just kidding. Let's not do that. Let's take it. A screwdriver and carefully unscrew these bolts, which is exactly what we are doing now. Let's take a look. What do you think of this, with the wires in the braid? By the way, the speaker is not very heavy. It says made in Israel, handcrafted by Moral. Naturally, the speakers are of their production, branded. You can see for yourself and verify the quality. Everything is really well made. Note that inside we have everything lined with a special material. You can't see anything because of it. Here we have spacers. They are not very big, but they are there. And let's look at the second speaker. Note that the plus is also marked in red so that no one gets confused, so to speak, for the particularly gifted. Let's unscrew the second one. So friends, listen, it all looks the same. Also handmade all that six. And this is six F. Listen, the speakers are identical. It turns out we have the same for range and Base. Strange? Usually, it's a bit different. Well, okay, sorry, she knows better. After all, they have been making acoustics for 50 years. Good material spider, very high quality. Coil is visible, wound with copper. What else could it possibly be, you might wonder? Well then, let's go ahead and open up the tweeter. Carefully and gently take it out of the box. It's quite heavy too, isn't it? So. My dear friends, let's proceed. Moral handmade, all that please, it's all for you. I won't turn it off. By the way, the number is MDT30NF. If someone wants to install something similar, their speakers, so to speak, homemade, please feel free. Moral, I think they will make something similar for you. Again, everything. By the way, did you notice, right? I don't know, I slightly disconnected it while filming, but it wasn't fully clicked in. In theory, if they fell somehow, it could disconnect. And accordingly, you would lose the high frequencies. Let's listen to copyright free jazz. Don't judge too harshly.
the acoustics have a complete model range and there is the possibility to create a home theater, meaning there is also a center channel as well as rear speakers. My three reference albums. I'll start with Ramstein. Despite the fact that the acoustics are relatively soft, they played the Germans quite well. The album, Rise Rise, Song Lose, the song America, I really liked. There was pressure, yes, it wasn't that harsh, but nevertheless, I managed to immerse myself in this industrial atmosphere. The stereo is excellent, meaning they create a very large picture. You sit there and understand that the vocalist is in the center, quite high, much higher than this acoustics, about twice as high. Madonna Hard Candy. What an amazing album. It is recorded from all perspectives, from the first track to the last. So it was very, very pleasant for me to listen to it on this acoustics. Again, she definitely gave Madonna with this R&B shade, some kind of soulful touch. But really, whatever you listen to on it, it turns out to be a bit honeyed. The acoustics that I have been testing lately are very, very soft. I don't know if it's good or bad. I am certainly more in favor of a neutral presentation. But if you want a soulful sound presentation, then this is, again, for that and the third album is Michael Jackson Dangerous Album from 1991. Again, all the songs on it are perfect. Listen to everything, remember the time. And again, here I almost shed a tear once more. Because listening to this song on Moral sent me back to my childhood when I enjoyed this song on my dad's S90. Well, those are my associations. In general, this is indeed the most truthful yet soft presentation which I personally appreciated. Another detail, my first car, a Renault Megane, was assembled, moral components. The Phoenix Gold amplifier and all the acoustics in the door panels were indeed moral. And I'll say this, in terms of sound quality, the ratio of price to what you get in return, I probably haven't heard anything better in cars of this segment because at that time, everything turned out just perfect. Again, I recognize this style, so I really like this acoustics, and I believe it's a designer must-have. From all perspectives, it sounds good and looks decent too. Do you want to get this Madonna disc? Leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our channel on Telegram, link below, and randomly, in a month or two. We will choose a winner, as always, by random. So thank you. Thank you for your support, friends. Stay with us.